Hey there! In this third and final video in the Beginner's Guide to Voltage Modular series, we're going to be adding a couple of different effects to our patch and applying a few tweaks to finalize the sound. If you haven't seen the first two parts to this series where we cover all the basics of building your very first patch as well as adding modulation and talking about CV and some of the core ideas of modular synthesis, feel free to pause this video, go check those out, and come back once you're ready. At this point, we've now built our first basic synthesizer patch here. It's very playable. <laughs> We've added some modulation, we've covered all the basics, we've added a pitch bend, we've added an LFO that controls the pitch, which we control with our mod wheel, we've used another synthesizer to control the filter cutoff, we've done a lot of really cool and exciting things. So I think it's time we apply a couple of basic tweaks, talk about a couple ideas, and add some effects to bring this patch home. Up to this point, everything we've done here can be done inside of the free voltage modular nucleus, but do keep in mind that some modules do not come with nucleus, including some of the effects we're going to be using here today. To kick things off, I think we can widen this patch out a little bit with a chorus. This way we get something just a little bit more interesting. So we've got our filter going directly to our output. In order to add some effects here, let's just take this filter output and feed it through our chorus. Right now, everything has been mono. We don't have two separate signals, so it's really just one signal right down the middle. But now with this chorus, we can add some nice stereo width and stereo information to the patch. We'll take the left output into the left or mono output, and now that we've got a stereo effect like a chorus, we can use the right output and feed that into the right side. Now if we give this a play, we've got a sound with some interesting stereo width. Let's slow the speed down maybe and maybe increase the depth a little bit. Now I think that's sounding pretty cool. One of the interesting ideas with modular synthesis though is that we can control a lot of different parameters that aren't traditionally accessible in a lot of other synths or effects. As you can see here in the chorus, we have some interesting inputs like the time, the feedback, or even the mix. Let's grab another envelope generator. I'll alt click and drag that down. We're going to need the gate to control the envelope, so let's wire up the gate from our CV sources. And now let's use this envelope to control the mix. I'm gonna start this off entirely dry I'm gonna have the mix CV come in 100%. We'll add some attack, and then we'll leave the sustain at around maybe 50% or so. So what's going to happen is this chorus is going to not be there and then open up and come in over time. Let's do the same with the feedback. Let's pull up the envelope generator. We'll add another jack by clicking the output and use something to control the feedback as well. So if we add more feedback, we'll get a slightly more metallic sound of the chorus. Throughout these videos, one of the things you've probably noticed as well is that there are a lot of different modules we can use to enhance our patches and do a lot of different things. As of the time of making this video, there are currently 911 modules available for Voltage Modular. Voltage Modular comes with a lot of great modules, but there are a ton of really awesome third-party module developers out there who create everything from new oscillators and exotic filters to some really bizarre and interesting sequencers, effects, and just about anything you can imagine in between. Once you feel that you've explored what your current module selection has to offer, there's virtually always something new and exciting that you can bring into your cabinet to take your patch design in a new direction. To demonstrate this here, let's add a delay to this patch to finalize everything. So let's search for a delay, and maybe we'll do this multi-delay effect from Bernard. Now we're gonna need to wire this up. As you can see, we have a single input and a mix output. So this isn't stereo, this is mono. So what we can do is take the output of our filter, which is currently a mono signal feeding into our chorus. Let's move that into the input of the multi-delay here, and now we'll feed the mix output into the mono input of our chorus. This way we're going to have the filter feeding into the delay. We'll get all these cool delay taps, and then that's going to be further spread out in the stereo field using our chorus module. Let's apply a couple of quick tweaks here just to make sure the feedback isn't too excessive. Let's drop the dry and wet, and then maybe bring up our output level. Let's give this a play and see what we've got now. <laughs> From here, because we have so many independent envelopes, we could do a lot of interesting things. Let's maybe open up some attack. We'll add some decay to the main sound here, add a little bit of release. The filter envelope, maybe we could have it 
decay and then sustain a little bit, add a touch of release as well. We've got our synthesizer here controlling our filter, which has a nice attack phase. Maybe we'll add some decay and drop the sustain level down slightly. And then we've got another envelope controlling our chorus level. So now we should have something much more similar to the patch we demonstrated at the very beginning of this series. And that's really all there is to it. So congratulations, you've now successfully built your first patch in Voltage Modular from absolutely nothing from the ground up. You pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and you did it. This is probably the first step on a very long journey for most of you. Modular synthesis is really, really cool and it's a very deep rabbit hole and it's a lot of fun to explore some new and more unconventional ideas because as mentioned at the beginning of this whole series, every time you're building a modular patch, you are designing a new instrument from scratch. Hopefully this series cleared up a lot of the questions you might have about getting started with modular synths and building your first patch and help get you through those first couple of hurdles to get your first patch to come to life. I hope this also inspires you to take some of these ideas and run with them and start exploring the wacky wild world of modular synthesis and make these ideas your own. And I think that concludes everything for this beginner's guide to voltage modular and creating your first patch. However, if you have some suggestions for future videos or other questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and for more information on voltage modular or to try it for yourself today, you can visit cherryaudio.com.